install Ubuntu and Windows 10 on one PC. The first thing you need to take care is to create a free space on the computer hard disk in case the system is installed on a single partition. Log into your Windows machine with an administrative account and click on the search, type cmd to open Windows command line. Once in command line, type diskm.msc on prompt and the disk management utility should open. From here, right click on C partition and select shrink volume in order to resize the partition. On shrink C, enter a value on space to shrink in MB and hit shrink to start partition resize. Once the space has been resized you will see a new unallocated space on the hard drive. Leave it as default and reboot the computer in order to proceed with Ubuntu installation. Download the .iso or the OS files on your computer from this. In this video, I will be installing Ubuntu 18 alongside with Windows Dual Boot you can use any Ubuntu release for installation. Burn the image to a DVD or create a bootable USB stick using a utility such as Universal USB Installer or Rufus. Place the USB stick or DVD in the appropriate drive, reboot the machine and instruct the BIOS UEFI to boot up from the DVD USB by pressing a special function key. Once the media boot up a new grub screen should appear on your monitor. From the menu select install Ubuntu. Next, choose the first option normal installation and hit on continue button again. Now it's time to select an installation type. In case you want a custom partition layout, check the something else option and hit on continue button to proceed further. On this step we'll create our custom partition layout for Ubuntu. On partition settings use the following configurations and hit OK to apply changes. When finished, hit the install now button in order to apply changes to disk and start the installation process. On the next screen adjust your machine physical location by selecting a city nearby from the map. When done hit continue to move ahead. Pick up a username and password for your administrative pseudo account, Enter a descriptive name for your computer and hit continue to finalize the installation. This are all the settings required for customizing Ubuntu installation. From here on the installation process will run automatically until it reaches the end. After the installation process reaches its end hit on restart now button in order to complete the installation. The machine will reboot into the grub menu. You will be presented to choose what OS you wish to use further, Ubuntu or Windows 10. Ubuntu is designated as default OS to boot from. That's it. In case you need to switch back to Windows, just reboot the computer and select Windows from the grub menu. Thanks for watching, don't forget like and subscribe. Help me make a dream of 100,000 subscribe.